Hello friends, in the last session we saw why we used IP as 192.168.99.100 when we are accessing the docker containers which are running inside the docker toolbox. Now friends, in this session we will see why the port mapping is required to access the docker container from outside world through host machine IP and host machine port. So this is the command we saw to run the docker container from the docker image which contains the hyphen p option which is taking input as host port and the container port. So friends, let us assume that our docker containers are running in this machine, which can be either host machine or guest machine. And then we started the Tomcat container inside this machine. And because of the hyphen p option which we provided, the host port which is 8080 got mapped to the container port 8080 which allowed the traffic on the host port 8080 to get routed to the container port 8080. In a similar way, when we started the Nginx server with the host port 80 and the container port 80 and then when we tried to access the docker container from the host IP and the host port 80, again the traffic of the host port 80 get routed to the container port 80 and we were able to successfully access the docker containers which are running inside the host machine or the guest machine. And friends, one important thing to note over here is, you have to make sure that whatever host port you are using is not getting used by any other process at that point of time, otherwise you will get bind error. Also friends, you can choose host port as any port of your choice. For example, if you start the docker container with the host port 9191, then in this case to access the Tomcat container from the browser, the URL you have to use should have port 9191 instead of 8080. Friends, most of the people forget to provide this hyphen p option while starting the docker container and then they struggle a lot to identify the reason why they are not able to access the docker container from the outside world. So friends, with this I am stopping this short but very important session in terms of accessing the docker containers. We will learn more concepts about docker in the upcoming sessions.